this might have done it. Any better? Oh, it looks so nice. Okay. okay. That looks ten times better. It's awesome. What do you have, like an overlay or something? I think they're just fixing bitrate. Ah. Uh. I know nothing about streaming. I don't know why I even answered that. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I. I don't even know why I stream. <laughs> you unite people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's probably it. Something like that? Nah, I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so Here. this could be interesting. Right, the map's like broken there. What? Oh, oh wait, we should wait, you should update it. Shit, yeah. I'll do that now. Actually, uh, I'm gonna um, on for a second. <laughs> you, you might have to rename it or air load it. Fuck. Oh yeah, I need to grab this from you again. <laughs> Never downloaded it to the. Thing. Oh, yeah, I figured. I sent it to him. I promise. A pinky promise. Yeah, you did. I'm just trying to find it. <laughs> I mean, I believe you. Wait, I just, did you, you PM me or did you put it through chat? Did you PM, PM me it, please. I don't see it. Oh, no, yeah. I sent it through Rush chat. You want me to rename it so you can just stick in the map folder and load it? Please do so. All right. Give me a It'll be like five minutes. Mm. All right. Was he yawning and shit? Yeah, the stream looked really nice. <laughs> cool. Is Final talking about an entrance to the war room in the shared lane, or is he talking about different ways to actually enter the bomb area for Rain well, Eater? He's Not complaining sure. about the entrance to like the temple. He was just complaining about Rain Eater in general, so I asked him to please stop. Ah. Uh. Stream. Yeah, in the stream chat. Let's time him out. It's not that hard. Can I time him out? Update server. I'm still on 1.7. What? Oh, I'm dumb. Wait, am I? Oh yeah, I am. All wrong. Cool. You reset the mole Sweet. What? The mole chest? The mole chest. I already did him. Yeah, I already did him. Cool. I'm just gonna call it like Rainy Dartilia for now. Done, Paul, so I can put it in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One second, sorry. Um, it's all forever, it can. You can see it. Richard, you need to subscribe. I can 
computer is slow. I'm sorry, Cam. It's okay, dude. Uh, you know when like you see a spider on the wall and it's so far away you don't want to kill it and then you look back five minutes later and it's gone and you're wondering where it is in it's your bed. leg and you nope. keep looking everywhere I mean, that was going to work and you get like, paranoid <laughs> I'm getting paranoid I like I tried to walk outside to grab a dude last night and on the wall right next to my like <laughs> to door was a giant it's was a giant spider and I decided at that moment I did not need a Mountain Dew anymore. Oh, dude, a spider dropped on, like, like I went to uh, take a nap, and all of a sudden, like, like right as I'm trying to fall asleep, like, a spider, like, from the ceiling, jumps on top of my glasses, I'm like, oh, shit! I'm like, oh, my God. It was, like, the first time a spider's ever jumped on me. Because I've always thrown stuff at it, because I'm Maybe. not a man. I definitely, like, would rather just burn my house down, and then... And yeah, probably. Spiders. That's it. AR archive. There we go. Send it to me. I gotta. Do you want me to media fire or just fucking send it? Duh. Fuck it. Send it, dude. Probably faster. Maybe faster. Is it called artillery edit? <laughs> that way, when you load it, you can just uh, you don't have to try to fuck with the other rain eater. Oh, what? So whether there's like slash AR load artillery? It, no, you just or... dump that into your mid, um... I'm live right now, woman! And you just load, yeah, AR load, artillery edit. And it's exactly the same thing I sent to YYY. It can be zip too, right? It can be zip? Yeah, yeah, just put that in the maps folder. But exactly what I sent to you. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, Cam, keep up. Ooh, getting the Doritos Mountain Dew two weeks in a row. Yeah, that's right. Do you actually have this? Yeah, I do, and I got double stuffed Oreos. Wait, what? Doritos? I used to have Oreos. Uh, is there? Yeah, is there real... You're gonna die from diabetes one day, dude. Wow. <laughs> I'm just. Hey, wait, what is this Doritos Mountain Dew thing? I eat healthy oh, today. Is it? No, <laughs> I'm Panera, so that is clearly the healthiest thing I should be eating right now. Am I right? <laughs> Obviously. No, sir. I was watching something they were talking about Apple Mountain Dew, or like... What? Do you I don't know. Mountain Dew? That sounds really good. Wait, what? No, um, Apple Mountain like, Dew. I don't know where I saw this, but they were talking about Apple Mountain Dew at Taco Bell. I went to Taco Bell the next day and asked for like their apple soda Mountain Dew, and they just looked at me like I was the biggest retard ever. <laughs> Dude, I was like, you know what? In line oh, too. oh, I swear, I swear, Americans get too hyped about Mountain Dew. Dude, I got Dude. a the Baja's out in bottles again. Yes, where you is? Dude, I yeah, had it in a day. <laughs> what do you mean again? I didn't know it was ever in a bottle. What? We it didn't was even like have six months ago, here. and then they got oh. rid of it, and now it's back. Wait, no, is it supposed like to be raining on Rainier 24-7? What? Uh -huh. Is it supposed to be raining on Rainier 24-7? No. Oh, uh, I just loaded it up and it's raining. Is it okay? Why is it raining? Why, you on? add it in single player or something? Huh? No, I added it on a server. Make sure you prune the map as well, so right. people won't have unloaded chunks. I'm gonna start, making them uh, up. Really Paul, raining? Just, what the fuck? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna start getting the match ready, because it's 15 minutes from now. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure this isn't like raining 24-7, because auto ref should clear this up. I'll go bump the thread on overcast. Oh shit, I forgot Thanks. to tweet it out in the first place. Um, just wait, you should probably wait until it's like about to be match starting. Or unless you want to tweet it out now. Hmm. Uh, not raining, is it? No, sun's out. So isn't there some way I can like stream to my channel like I like uh yeah slash host you could uh if you if you go to if you go to your channel chat and do slash host space or to the RFW it'll start hosting so like if anyone mm. goes to your if anyone goes to your stream it'll start uh playing uh Artelia on it cool I think we're good Oh, 
leave you be now. Thank you. Are you here? I'm not this bad. All right. Um. Also, uh, Ricks. Um, if you don't mind, before like right before the uh, right after the sumo or right before the sumo, would you mind playing that video for the whole stream? I just sent you through Skype. What? I just sent you a video through Skype. Would you mind playing that like for uh? On the stream, um, before or after sumo, like show the actual video, mm -hmm. and just play it. Uh... It's a, uh, it's a quick and fast. It's a uh, basically what we just did condensed into two and a half minutes. Oh, I can't understand the guy who speaks in that video. I watched that. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, dude, it's I, awesome. thought I, I thought I thought you did awesome with it. Or but... you can do your own version on the spot. <laughs> In two and a half minutes. Yeah, man, that's how I did it. Without you a took forever. Oh, shut up! <laughs> it was great. All right, I will be out of here. Yeah, for right, strange. Can you leave too? Wait, what? Okay. Who is this? Uh, Jamaican hopscotch mafia and chocolate sauce. Yes. Uh, I'll let's idle quick. Sorry about that. Megan, stream is gonna hear you singing. Huh? Stream is gonna hear you singing. I'm not, I'm not embarrassed. You're I'll, dating me, you should feel embarrassed. I don't give a shit. Your skills and abilities and singing voice reflect zero upon me. No? You have to live with me. Well, I choose to, I don't have to. You have to. Alright, tell us what they did. Where else are you gonna go? <laughs> what do you mean? This is my house. I'm gonna start grabbing the teams. Can you uh, start um, my car. advertising a bit? I'll post the MCGC and stuff. Just do another chats. Chris? Not really? Okay. Okay, I think I'm hosting that right, tweeted it out, my job is done. Oh yeah, they can't hear me in mumble. Just you guys in stream, just the streamers. We're not, fuck these mumble guys, they don't know anything about what's going on in real life. How are you guys, uh, the stream, both our Artilia stream and, of course, anyone who's viewing uh, from my channel. How are, how are you guys doing? How's yeah. life? Uh, your sex life, specifically? Let's get in depth about some of that nasty shit. I bought chocolate milk earlier. That has nothing to do with my sex life. It's just I got chocolate milk. It's nothing to do with my sex life. Fuck, am I even streaming? Oh yeah, I yeah. am. What? It looks like a robot. Whatever. I ate pineapple earlier. We were going to do the, uh, you know, the what you eat is what you produce test. Ugh. There we go.
I mean, don't get me wrong, if, if I didn't like the flavor of chocolate milk, I would definitely pour it all over my lady. As like a, a prelude to some dirty nasty. Oh shit, I'm gonna stand up here when I watch the sumo. That's nice to me. Are these the players filtering in? Yeah. Oh, look, it's Tree! Look at that motherfucker. I don't know if he prefers Tree Delta or Tri Delta. <laughs> you're gonna beat him up because you're in creative. Oh, we can't hit back? Oh, right, I am flying. <laughs> you, could just, uh, you could just join a team, slash join, and then you could punch each other. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. I don't know if you'll be able to shoot my bow in what arrow. Nope, doesn't look like it's working. I don't think the arrows will actually, you know. Alright, uh, all the players shoot again now. Alright. Not whitelisted. <laughs> Thank you very much, Cam. I got you, it's easy. I got him. Oh, fine. Eat. <laughs> Just for extra measure, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna start getting him for sumo, and then... Well, do you wanna play the video now? Um, and then do sumo, and then you can do pre-game stuff? Or do you wanna do it, uh... Do sumo... Video then pregame stuff, Ricks. Uh, I, I forgot I was going to be doing that video thing. Uh, hold on, <laughs> let me let me set up a thing for that. Set so the video now because we're still waiting on players. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab a drink before the match. Be right. What up, me and what? Oops. Man, how the fuck do you stream a video from YouTube anyways? Uh, are you using OBS? Yes. You can have a scene that does window capture. It'll capture the... Uh, you can capture the window... Yo. Know. <laughs> that looks stupid. Oh, did you load up Artilia Edit or what'd you load up? What? Yeah, yeah. Talking yeah. to Chris. Okay, good. It's G slash M I. Good, okay. Oh, uh... I'll go fly around just to make sure. Yeah, just go check it in the wall box. Wall area. I'll fix the lighting. <laughs> Are you actually gonna do that? You know which fence it is? No, TZ, don't, don't, don't. Wait, don't, uh... Oh, wait, no, wait, it is fixed. Dizzy. Yeah. Okay. You fix the strength pots as well. I think. Make sure. Has a uh, Rick? Have you played the video yet, or no? I don't think you have. No, it time. looks dumb. I'm trying to work it better. If you um, uh, if you can't get it to work, it's fine. Whatever. I'll just play it like this. You guys are gonna have to deal with it. It's not my idea. Sorry. 
What up, mate, and welcome to Rainio. Am I swamped, littered with perils straight from the mine stop? Um, when you're playing it, just you can definitely yourself so we can hear you. So you can hear us. So you can hear us I'm playing it play now, but. Rainio will punish every mistake, yeah. no matter how small. To those who are up to speed on Rainio, this is a quick and concise tour to catch you up. Players begin by plumbing into the swamp. They'll have access to gear from the many chests around the starting hut, including weapons, food, and blocks. Players can then pass under the three victory monument trees, avoiding a spectacular safari of leaping silverfish, before being faced with the choice of either crossing the valley or joining it at the bottom. Those who choose the ladder may take refuge in a cave towards spawn that contains some quick resources. Down lane, another cave reveals a vertical shaft down to first wall, the Great Burning Nullifier. To complete this dungeon, players will have to brave an onslaught of arrows and TNT as the majority of the wall is exposed to the other lane. What brief respite from PvP pressure the player gets is instantly nullified by a barrage of mobs and narrow corridors. These aspects have made this wall dungeon the ideal lockdown spot for most teams. However, players with their wits larger than their bow shots have always been able to break through the assault and claim victory over their opponents. For those choosing to cross a gap, a crumbling village awaits. Scattered throughout the ruins are lots of basic gear, scraps of armor, and other useful items. Entering the pavilion can grant access to the mine shaft. This contains a bulk of resources with potion, enchanting, and TNT supplies, as well as some blocks of iron and gold. However, these resources aren't just given out for free. Players will have to overcome arrow fire from the other team, as well as any mobs that may spawn. Past the village and over the water, players will reach a pyramid. This is a host of the second wolf, a shrine to madness. This temple of pain descends through seven levels of increasingly brutal PvE challenges. While it isn't heavily exposed to arrow and cannon fire, the challenges presented by this dungeon require players to think quick and often in order to not succumb to its brutality. Further up lane, another pavilion marks the entrance to the diamond resources. This cave is lined with spawners, but rewards those who brave the challenges with a huge surplus of diamond blocks and ore. Unlike the previous resources, this cave has almost no exposure to PvP pressure, meaning that obtaining these diamonds is just a race against the map that other players cannot hinder. If one continues down lane much further, they'll cease to encounter anything at all, as the terrain gives way to a rather large drop into a sprawling shared lane. Some loot is scattered around the periphery, but the centerpiece is sure to draw our eyes. Third wall, into the upper black. This massive pyramid is a dark and gloomy 3D maze laced with natural spawns and spawners. There is only one way in, and although there are several paths you can take to thread your way through to the wall room, both teams have to finish up in the same room at the top of the pyramid. Sneaking in is only half the trouble. If a player dies on the way out, their inventory and any wool they are carrying is now fair game for the other team to snatch. Historically, teams have taken a more stealth style approach to the dungeon. Sneak in when the other team is busy elsewhere, and sneak out as fast as possible. But if a team does decide to set up shop, the other team could be treated to a rather brutal melee battles. Well. Alright, uh, is it done? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, thanks for doing that. Let's get the same underway. Thanks for doing that, by the way. That's cool. I don't like it, though. Oh, you don't? <laughs> yeah, it was weird. I like it. It was. Uh... Here's my impression of the of the, the audio plat. I was like, let's go to say it. Let's go to say it. Why is that? Alright, let's go. Let's go. There's an Oopa Loopa, look there. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, uh, ZZ will be your co streamer today. To help you with all the commentary. Okay. Mr. Dizzy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know who you were talking about at first, but I, I figured it out myself. Oh shit, look, Dr. Shock right over here. Is that platinum on the back of his head? And the sides, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Server just uh freeze for anyone else or is that just me? Yeah, it's you. just you. Alright, good. Yeah. Just don't want I just don't want this the thing. Alright, let's get this ready for sumo. Good out to sumoing for chocolate sauce and Minzy's
Alright, so for people who may be in my stream, it's uh, Jamaican Hopscotch Mafia and Chocolate Ooh. Sauce. Oh, yeah. Somebody just won sumo. I have a push to talk, what? Someone's gotta go to the bathroom. I'm just gonna get reiterate the uh, rules to each team. Alright, uh, I'll I'll go to Jamaican, go do uh chocolate. Oh shit, you wanna do pre-game stuff, don't you, Rix? Yes. Sorry about that, I forgot. Alright, uh, I'll put you over to chocolate stuff first. Let me make sure they're all good with it. Sorry to interrupt. Um, I forgot to mention something, D-Rix. Bruh? Um, third wool box, there's those two black wools on the outside. Mm hmm But, they respawn if you break them. So you can take them? Yeah. Cool. If you, um, break into the spawn platform, you can see the spawners there. Thought I'd let you know. Yep, uh, we're in chocolate we're channel now. Hey, you guys, uh, right side. Come on, come on over to your, to your uh, side real quick. I we're think we are left. left. I think we are left. Oh, all right. Uh, okay, we're all right. two players right now. All right, come on uh, up and over here, uh, where I'm at. Where are you? Up here, where I'm at. Yeah. I'm nice. All right. Uh, so I'm I'm it's familiar nice with 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 try. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Was, well, stand next to each other. Don't be. I can make a powwow. Don't be try. Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, so who's representing you guys today? Uh, I, like I guess me. Who's me? Wow, uh, me. That would be great. that would be Curtain or Scopehead. Uh, I'm gonna read what I say and say what I read. Curtain. Uh, so how you guys feeling about the map? It's uh, from what I understand, fairly unplayed, and uh, it looks very uh, detailed by way of. Uh, filler and all that so mm -hmm. a lot of potential I, I think uh resources are going to be a bit of a scramble but i think we're going to be able to crack through uh their defenses and emerge victorious 
So, uh, with, with any contested area, you know, uh, cross lanes and such, usually that things get dicey for everybody involved. Uh, how you feeling about third? Uh, I think that if I had to bet right now, I'd bet they're going to rush third. Um, but I think it's playing exactly into our hands because, I mean, we're ready for that. We're playing the resource game, so I'm really hoping they do. And they waste that player at the start. Hmm. All right, so you think third will be the major point of contention? I think they're just going to sneak in there, probably take it, uh, and hopefully we're going to be able to get the resource advantage in the time. Cool. You want to come on back here? Yet? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. So, uh, Doctor, it's been a while. Let me just say what's up to you. It's Hi, Rick. Yeah. It's been a while. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah, good luck, try. I'll see you whenever I see you again after this. And, uh, yeah, I've uh, watched, I think, two of Jamaican's games, so it should be a good one. Because I've got a <laughs> rough idea of who you guys are, and uh, it should be a good match. Best of luck to I you. I agree. Thank you. Alright, uh, I'm gonna pull you over into Jamaican now. Ballin! Oh, uh, are we doing, um... Oh, there we go. No, <laughs> Here we go. You're in sports hey. now. Yeah, uh, is this the, the channel of the Hopscotch Mafia? Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, if no, you guys wanna come, come, come over here, please. None, none of you look Jamaican offhand. Uh, is that racial? Yes. Profiling? It is. I'll have you know that I graduated top of my race. Oh, did you? <coughs> what race would that be? Penguin? Uh, race for wool. Oh! oh <laughs> <laughs> that was hot! I like that. Alright, so. Amazing. Uh, getting down to business now. Uh, who's a representative for your team today? I'm in Z. <laughs> I'm uh, me. Sure. Me. Contra not. Contra. So, uh, mm -hmm. you're a fairly knowledgeable cat. I've known of you and you for a while. That's cute. Uh, anyways, he has no respect for you. Uh, so, how are you feeling about the match? What do you think is going to go down, so to speak? Um, I think it'll be a tough one. Uh, I think this map suits them really well, because uh, they're pretty PvP heavy, and uh, they've got uh, a plum who we're expecting to rush a wall, um, especially third. Um, but yeah, no, we have a strat that we will hope ca that will hope the counters it. So, oh, hold on one sec. Sorry about that. I was just admiring this moon. It's really good looking. Uh, I was listening though. Okay, I'm the new representative because he's AFK. So hi. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I'm back. Uh, so what do you second. think the uh, what do you think the major point of contention is going to be? Um, hmm. I'm gonna say third. Early on, probably diamonds. Diamond resources. Uh, for sure, because those are really important to secure. And, uh, there's a lot of different ways you can cannon them or, uh, deny them. Or, yeah. Um, and then later on, probably first. It's gonna be a big contention point. Cool. So, uh, you anticipating any troubles at third? Uh, <laughs> a little bit. Ah. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Um, we just heard of actually a, ch a hidden chest uh, at third that we didn't know about, so we're kind of nervous about that. Um, yeah, they also uh, can, on the whole, probably out melee us. So <laughs> It's wise that you acknowledge game. that. Uh, I'm the PvP master. Yeah. But you know, you whether I mean, it's one thing to acknowledge whether someone can out melee you, but um, it, it's good that you know of their uh, strengths and or weaknesses. Uh -huh. I'm lagging. Yeah, we uh, we know each other players pretty well um, from a gameplay standpoint. So yeah, I, I know about uh, like uh, we're like sixty percent of you guys or whatever math is. So, uh, I, I know you guys are all uh, really old uh, characters in the PvP scene, so... Um, that, I, I think I've watched two of your guys' matches so far, so... Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, having just seen that, and knowing that they've gotten as far as you guys have. I mean, once you get into the later brackets, things get spicy anyway, so... Hmm. It'll be a good match, and uh, best of luck to you, and... Uh, yeah. Thanks. All that jazz. Best of luck to streaming. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's, it's pretty easy, man. I have no idea okay, what I'm doing. Yeah, right. Just... Race for walls easier. <laughs> it's these guys. Ooh. We can't oh. fucking lose now, fold you asshole. <laughs> all right, all good, Rixia. Yeah, everything's good. Already. Now get away from ready. Work. <clears throat> Wait, what did you just say? We just need both teams to ready up and we can get going. Oh, okay. I'm actually gonna dip out for a minute, gotta go to the bathroom and stuff. Something about drinking from a straw just really hits me. You don't get to do that often in home life. I don't have reusable straws, I only drink from a straw when I go places. Not whenever I go places, I don't use straws. I don't know what it is. I just don't really like them too much. Yeah, I mean, I won't use a straw if it's like a plastic or a glass cup, but if it's styrofoam, I don't like something about styrofoam. Just I don't know. I don't like touching it with my face. I'm drinking some. What is this? Root beer. Root beer, caffeine free. Caffeine free root beer. That's not why I'm drinking. I'm just. <laughs> it was an arbitrary choice. I just. Like Not actual beer. Cause yeah, well, no, I I can't drink too. I'm a, I'm a, I'm not a violent drunk, but I'm a very antagonistic drunk. So I don't I don't drink too much. It's not that I start yeah, fights. It's just fights happen. You know. I mean, I start them, but like I don't throw the first punch. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. I got you. How many cans do you have on your desk, Zizi? Um, I haven't gone to the store in like a month, so I haven't had any cans in a long time. <laughs> do have like a bottle or two, but that's about it. I don't know what it is, but I don't know any of those fucking faces. Everybody drops all these faces in, and I'm just like. Hope the teams are ready. I guess a quick little rundown of the teams. Cause I, know I don't think it's been done yet. Tri Delta retain Dr. Talk Uplum on Chocolate Sauce. Uplum was on the RMCT finalists, Lithium. And for Jamaican Up Scotch Mafia, Ock, Fuldesi, Minzi, and Conchonaut. Ock, Conchonaut, and Fuldesi being on the RMCT5 winners, Rush. So the first starting drop looks like half the members did end up catching the vines. In total, two members from Chocolate Sauce and two members from uh, Jamaican Hopscotch. Thunder Pearlers, Conchonaut, and Uplum both crossing the uh, the ravine fairly quickly. So you can tell how rusty I am. Look, I can't even do these jumps. Track them and see how far they make it. Uh, Jamaican Hopscotch already has a bridge across. Uh, mini getting that over really quickly. He's making able moves, avoid... man. Look at him. <laughs> able to avoid a lot of the PvP pressure. Ak has made it over as well. He has the projectile protection chest plate, so he'll be looking to give some PvP support. Contronaut is in resources right now. Uh, neck and neck with Uplum. Uplum doing a little, doing a little digging. Not too sure what he's trying to do here. <clears throat> it looks like he's trying to set up some sort of cannon. It's a quick little dry one, and it's able to take out the to make an hopscotch his TNT chest. It only destroyed the chest. The entities are still there. The lava is gonna though. start flowing. Bunch not falling from a high place inside of resources, so chocolate sauce has a huge advantage right now inside of there. His uplum can continue to make progress. Not much PvP pressure for Jamaican Hopscotch. Uh, Fuldesi is over here trying to shoot at him, but uh, Tridelta's over here looking to provide some PvP cover for Uplum. He does have the Power 1 bow from the village, along with the projectile protection chest plate. So he's going to be pretty tough to pop. Uplum has made it down to the TNC supplies. Uh, he's grabbed the potions, he's grabbed the sharpness to knock back two sword, and he's also grabbed the strength potions, so 
Nice supplies for trying to take on third with some PvP cover. Conchonaut has made it back to his stuff. Able to knock out the skeleton that picked up his armor. He was kind of low on armor and the sword that he had, but he is back to his stuff. Uh, Minzy got taken out by a zombie. He did start making some progress. And he was inside a second. So it might, might have been like a quick little push to try and get the TNT supplies. Doesn't look like anyone grabbed them. And Dr. Shock is looking to do something similar. Aplum is in the enchanting supplies room. Getting shot at by Fuldesi. Getting a bunch of shots on him. Uh, both of them are on this layer. Tridelta is still here to give some PvP fire. He doesn't really have an angle on them from this layer. Aplum having to completely wall off so that he can get his cannon off without dying. does get the cannon off, able to blow up the chest. One iron block still remains, so we'll have to fire it again to get rid of the entities, and looks like that's exactly what he's doing. And those entities are gone. The iron, <laughs> iron block remains, and ender pearl drops from the enderman that was inside of the room. End up on firing the cannon again, trying to take out the iron block, but it's Still yeah, whether it was an intentional shot or not, he got one of his to drop down hit the blo the, the potion supplies too, so... Well, Dusty was taken out by Tri-Delta, so there's just a whole mess of supplies over here that Conchonaut's gonna have to deal with. Doesn't have too many supplies on him, only has the chain armor and a single health 2 potion. So he seems to be either making his way out or just resupplying up right now. Meanwhile, Uplum has pretty free reign to run whatever he wants. Ock is up here trying to shoot at him, but again, not the best angle. <clears throat> Aplum's dropping some gravel to get down to the iron room. And he gets taken out by Ock, so a nice job shooting from a pretty tough angle on a pretty far distance. To slow down chocolate sauce and the resource run. Try Delta is still here, so he might try to just pick up where uh, Uplum left. His chest plate did get taken out though, and he's he ate the golden apple that he had to regain a little bit of health. But he is pretty low uh, without the chest plate. So just a whole mess of supplies pretty much at the same areas for both teams. Uh, Blum gets taken out by Fulk Desi, delaying his resource run a bit further. Yeah, it means you just dropped some uh, cannon supplies in this uh, foresty area before third. Looks like uh, Ox gonna be picking them up. Fulk Desi able to get a double kill inside of resources, so doing a really nice job of covering after the those two deaths. Uh, Sar Paul asked, what's the diamond status? Diamond status, both teams still have their diamonds. Uh, but a cannon is being set up right now. I saw the water flowing down. Yep, Ock has a nice three-stage cannon set up. Looks like Minzy's heading to those chests in the back. It's like the first shot of the two stage cannon missed the diamond room. We'll have to fire it again with better timing this time. And misses the second shot. So, kind of wasting TNT at this point. Uh, not Ender Pearling. Delta is back in resources. Uh, Uplum was taken out, fell from a high place, trying to get back to his supplies. So Fulesi is able to hold this off for 
another couple minutes, he might be able to uh, delay them from getting those supplies. But it looks like Tide also made it all the way down and picked up a good majority of those supplies. Alright, finally it looks like the cannon landed inside the room. Only took out one of the diamond blocks though. So if chocolate sauce does make their way down into here, they will still be able to get a good amount of armor, armor with those two diamond blocks. I'll probably get them taken out again. Yeah, I'm hoping he's gonna drop some of that TNT here. Oh, he's blocking up their water drop. Nasty. We have here. One's inside a second wall. ZZ Brunt uh, is requesting a summary of resources, first resources. Summary of resources, uh, Chocolate Sauce was able to take out to make an Opscotch Mafia's enchanting supplies room, and aside from that, nothing much has happened. The, the, the diamond room, or not the diamond room, the iron room for Chocolate Sauce is taken out, was taken out. Uh, quick little dry cannon looks like, seemed to have missed it, so. Chocolate Sauce has the iron that they got from these resources, so they're not completely deprived of iron. Uh, but it, both teams are still trying to just get back to the stuff that they died from initially. Just a pile of stuff sitting here for Jamaican Hopscotch. And Tri Delta seems to have picked up most of the supplies that were over here. Just trying to sort his inventory out. Plum's trying to make his way back down into resources, but he gets killed by Full Dust every time he tries. Looks like Minzy oh. started tunneling into his uh, return slot, and he's uh, dropping off some supplies. Uplum taking out full SE, so they're they have free reign to make their way through the rest of resources. Uh, there's there was an iron block in here that survived the explosion, but it seems to have despawned by now. Look like either team or either member for chocolate sauce has iron and resources. Yeah, they didn't collect the iron inside of this room. So they're still trying to make their way to the iron room. Doesn't seem like they realize that the iron room has been blown up yet. It certainly seem not. But Upham is looking to make a lava cannon to try and get rid of chocolate so uh, to make an Opscotch Mafia's remaining iron. Contronaut has the diamonds in hand. Too sure what he did to get the diamonds. I don't see a diamond pick. And TNT, I he has one. Yeah, I heard... Uh, rumors of teams just blowing up TNT inside of here trying to get enough diamonds for a diamond pick. Seems like he was able to do that because he doesn't have an iron pick on him. But he was able to get the three diamond box and someone from Chocolate Sauce is watering the diamond room. From the very top. The stock to shock has had water flow from the lake all the way down to the diamond room at the bottom. And it's pretty much watered the remaining the remainder of chocolate sauce's diamonds. Eh, it's watered one diamond block. But a nice job of it, at least securing one of those blocks. Fuldesi was able to shoot Uplum before he was able to fire off the iron cannon. So a nice job of- What the hell happened to me? I'm in the lobby. Okay. Uh, seems like someone from Chocolate Sauce is running for a right now. Pertain has made his way past the initial ladder part and he's punching through the lines and ladders to make some more progress. He's just doing it naked though. 
So it seems like he's just trying to sneak his way through it. Fuldusy does notice him though. They will to take him out before he makes real progress. <clears throat> Uh, what? Oh, Ox in the Lobby too. Ah. Uh, okay. That uh, was weird. That's not good. Oh, I got a fixed story. Okay, that was weird. Uh, looks like a couple of them was able to fire the lava cannon. Uh, able to take out all of the iron box inside of the room and then just make a mess of the lava right here. The brewing supplies are still there, though. And Uplum has made it to the iron room just to see that it is gone. Octoshock slain by Minnie. Uh. Alright, Dr. Shock just pain looping Minnie trying to do something about him, just going naked trying to punch him. He has his bed set up top, so he's just dropping down. Tantanat is here along with Minnie, so it uh, doesn't look like Doctor's going to be able to do much right now. <laughs> A mess of mobs. You would think he'd want to drag him to them. Even if he does drag him to them, they were angered on him, so it wouldn't have really. Right, but much. he was. Death was kind of yeah. imminent. Uh, Contronaut was over here in full diamond. What up, cheese? Seems like Jamaican Hopscotch is gonna try and make a run on. Uh, Second mole, he gets not second mole, third mole. He gets poisoned by a witch though, so that run is going to be delayed. <laughs> Alright, Uplum made it back to the enchanting supplies room. Just gonna try and uh find the iron blocks in here. Uh doesn't really have a pick to do so. Not's making his way back from the third shared lane area. Doesn't seem like he's going to be making a run of it. Going up to a reaper, but just shrugging it off. Plum is out of resources. I think he's trying to get some supplies taking a for a lot of hits, trying to. Presumably push towards third. We have someone in. Yep, we have side, someone inside a second for Jamaican Upscotch Mafia, Contronaut, and the Full Diamond, looking to make a run at this. He has some TNT supplies, uh, chocolate sauce made a cannon to get rid of a good majority of the TNT. But there was still the trap chest that had some TNT that he could use, and he's just blowing up spawners inside of here. Uh, not really taking out any spawners, but definitely getting rid of uh, mobs inside of here. Be a little sparing with the TNT though, only had 27 left from after the cannon. A 
Plum is at the surface. He has two power one bows on him. So he was able to secure the enchanting supplies through all that chaos inside of resources. So even though Jamaican Opscotch doesn't have the offensive supplies for that, they do have a bit more resources than Chocolate Sauce at the moment. Uh, Tridelta is in full chain, now Plum's in a mix of leather and chain. And Dr. Shock is in chain pants and that's it. And I have no clue where Katain is. <laughs> Pain is in leather, looking to make a run at uh, first wall. He does have a good amount of cover up. Up top, Dr. Shock is here with the power bow and the chain pants, and doesn't seem like anyone from Jamaican Opscotch is over here to do anything about. Nice. Uh, Contronaut's doing good on, what is this, first? I don't know. Second. Second. Kutain uh, is trying to make progress up the ladder, but Fuldesi was in a dugout, cub dugout cubby hole and was able to take him out before he made his way all the way up. Looks like Contra is backing up. Still trying to just take out a lot of the spawners in here. Able to take out uh, the rest of them aside from the two spider spawners up here. So, a nice job of just clearing out the room before actually taking it on. Able to take out the cave spider spawner wherever it was. So, mostly this source of trouble is in this wall and able to neutralize it without taking any damage. So, really nice job for, from Punchnot for that. And Mini, while that was happening, was able to run through a uh, third wall. We'll see if he's looking to just stay in there and camp in some way, shape, or form, or way out. Mini making a cannon. Firing a cannon into the uh, ladder chute to take out the good majority of the ladders. Not sure how that stands in the reality portion, but we'll let see. What they did was completely legal, and the only way they can uh, so can get up there now is by using wool or glass. If they uh, travel over any other block, then that is not allowed. Oh really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. That's that's how the I yeah get I, that I get that. All right, cool. The so chain is back in status. First of all, uh, but Old Dusty and Ock both have their own little cubby holes to try and realize their progress and they're doing a pretty good job at doing that despite the fact that Chocolate Sauce has the off offensive advantage. Dr. Shock taking out Ock. So Curtain does have his bed set so he's able to just keep pain looping this and see if he's able to get it one time. Fuldesi is busy doing something inside of here and Curtain is able to make it past the... Uh, excuse me, make it past the original the first entrance sort of thing. Trying to climb up the ladder. Uh, 
seems to have been trying to make a push on the Wolf Tiger's tomb, but taking a bunch of poison damage. He's at half heart right now. He was able to light, light up the tomb fairly well with a couple of zombies and just a cave spider painting. This last room is going to be really difficult for him to make progress in. A bunch of those boss sort of mobs have spawned along with just a lot of creepers and zombies. going to have to regen a bit before he tries to make progress on this. That half health, but I don't think that's going to be enough to do. Especially with that cave spider poisoning him and him, he's gonna be back at half health, half a heart soon. And Mini is completely out with a uh, third wall. Not too sure where he put it, but he is out. I believe the wall is fairly safe. it is just a nice little cubby past the red rock line that has black wool in it. Plum is trying to make a push on second wool himself. A bunch of mobs to deal with and not as much armor as Contronaut, but he does have a sharpness one stone sword that he gets to use to his advantage. Shock, I noticed was full iron. Did I see? Doctor Shock's in mostly iron, iron chest, iron hel helmet, iron boots. That just has a smelting station. And someone mined a ton of iron and smelted it. So he's pretty well armored up. Uh, he also has a power one bow, so he's looking to stay here for a. Delta is in pretty nice armor himself. Uh, he substituted out the full chain for an iron chest plate and iron pants. So chocolate sauce is really well armored at first, along with the power bows as mentioned before. And Jamaican Hopscotch is slowly making progress on trying to get their own iron armor. I know nobody asked what my opinion is on the matter, but uh, so long as you can argue that you're within the confines of the rules, you are. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, well, that's not the spirit of the rules. The rules don't have spirits and souls. They are exactly what they are. Words are treacherous, and if you need to define your map with words, then your map is treacherous. That's exactly what this is an example of. Limitations when create complications. When we went to the mobile channel, Chris and I, to make sure, like, for, like, because we reminded multiple times through Skype and through the forums, we wanted to make sure one last time in the mobile channel that it was all good, and both teams asked us the exact same thing, like, can we place TNT outside of it and blow up the ladders? And they said, right. and so, what's up, Chris? Hey, During that so... entire monologue, uh, Conchonaut was able to make it past all the mobs in the final room, and he does have brown wool in his possession, and he's made it past the final room that he didn't really light up, All right. but he seems to be fairly safe with brown wall. So with the wording on the signs for third wall with the ladders, the wording said you can all break blocks, and since Mini used TNT to break the ladders, which Wait. is... Wait, no, the, the, Chris, they asked this before the match, you can't, we can't just make a ruling to DQ him now. I'm not gonna the, DQ him, he's gonna replace the ladders. But they... Uh, mm. I don't... Create go under our channel, Chris. Right. Anyway, um, <clears throat> Chocolate Sauce does have that progress on First Wool, which is what they have their lockdown right now. And doesn't seem like Jamaican Opscotch Mafia has any progress doing that. They do have a way down to the entrance, but not much aside from that. Dr. Shock is here. Um, not sure where his armor went. 
Really not sure where his armor went. Oh, he got knocked out of the world. So that's a full set of iron that uh, Ouch. Falcon Sauce lost. Red Delta is still here in the, his full iron though. And he does have TNT on him, so he might be looking to make a cannon to try and get rid of to make an Obscotch Mafia's bed. Uh, he probably thinks that the bed is somewhere in this area. In reality, it's a little to the left, but he does have 27 TNT to make use of. Uh, he will be able to get rid of uh, to make an Obscotch Mafia's furnace, though, and that has 25 iron in it, which is enough for a full s a full set of armor. Not all of it's smelted yet, but if he's able to take that out, that's going to be a huge loss for uh, a huge time sink that just and gone to waste. The makings for of a cannon obscotch. coming from Try. Not sure where he's going to aim it exactly, but. Looks like he's gonna aim it right at him. If that's the case, that'd be badass. Bessie has used a lot of the iron that's melted, does have a decently full set, but they do recognize the cannon being built and he's able to place a water bucket right in line with the cannon, so a little slow on the building for Tri Delta and he's gonna have to or else if he wants to actually have a cannon that does something. Looks like he's moving it over. Almost had a couple deaths earlier in chat trying to make progress on second mole, but he has cleared out ah, the water the chest or the furnace, yeah, nice. Upon has made some <laughs> really nice progress. Just has the final two rooms to go. Okay. So even though the furnace is watered, there is a corner <laughs> right here that if the TNT explodes in the right spot, it will still be able to take out the furnace. So. Not too sure if that's what Tridelta is going to try and do, or at least aim to do with the second cannon, but still a possibility. It's lined up in... I think it's lined up in the right spot to be able to do it, but we'll see. And even if it is, a lot of the iron has been taken out and fully smelted. Well, Desi is here in full iron, so... Cannon is loaded. goes and he's able to blow up in this uh, hole if he can fire it again he might be able to take out uh, Akor Conchonaut who is here in full diamond <laughs> Pertain trying to make some progress with some doors but place placing them the wrong way well kind of useless in that aspect <laughs> those poor doors Making my hopscotch has three members at first full, trying to make this a big push to try and get this full. Um, Tri Delta is still here in his nice and good armor, and Dr. Shock is still here naked. No bow. But plenty of doors in the chest for Katane to use to make some progress. And looks like both Katane and Dr. Shock are gonna try and pain loop and make some progress. I'm killed by magic. Alrighty. So while this entire thing has been going on, Minnie is still inside of the third full area. He has his bed set, and he's looking to camp here for a long, long time. He's mining a bunch of obsidian, trying to make the way into the third wall, wall box, just hold a for chocolate sauce to make their way in.
Seems like some lava is updated inside the uh, wool. Not sure if that's gonna help chocolate sauce or not, seeing as both Gertain and Dr. Shock are on fire. But while this is all happening, Conchonaut is making a run in full diamond. Red Delta is the only one that can really do anything about him, but he's in full diamond. He's not going to be dying anytime soon, and he has plenty of doors to make his way through. Dr. Shark has picked up a bow now, and he's trying to make some progress trying to kill Conchonaut, but uh... Yeah, and he's in full diamonds, so he's not going to be dying too easily. Right. Making a run for it. He has to get up this one wide ladder, so it's not going to be too easy for him with two people shooting at him, but he's making nice progress. Really getting hit too often. And Uplum and has up. reached the wool. So that's the first wool touch for chocolate sauce. So, who has two right now? Make an opscotch. Okay. And right now, Conchonaut has made it down the ladder without getting taken out by mobs. And he has his doors set up so that he can just make a way across without getting knocked out of the world. Still taking a lot of fire, and he's at a heart and a half, uh, but he's inside of the mob room, able to light it up. That threat has been neutralized. Gonna have to sit and regen a little. Before we make some progress to push to the wool box. Ock dropping down inside the uh, cave before the entrance. He's in full iron, so he's going to give some nice cover. And Conchonaut has made his way past the mud section at three hearts nonetheless, and he's breaking into the wool box right now. Neutralizing the lava on top of the wool box, and that's all three wools touched for to make an upscotch. Now it's just a matter of getting out. He does have access to Pi, though of Pi Mercury God of Infinity. A nice power three infinity one punch one bow. So if he chooses, he's gonna be a PvP threat right now. <clears throat> Getting shot at by Doctor trying to do something. And Tridelta is also pointing his bow right at him. He almost has uh, his 10 shots left on his power 1 bow, so he's going to have to be using an infinity bow for the time being. Doc's able to take out Docta again. Not really neutralizing Tridelta though, so. So the main obstacle between. Making up Scotch being able to pass this all around. Right, Uplum has made it completely out with uh, Brown Wall. So that wall is 100% safe, and he's in the village right now. Might be looking to either run third or help out at first. Punchnut is pushing out right now. And he's made his way back into the uh, mobfield area. He has a chest on him. Looks like that's the only thing he can use to do a pass around right now. And Fuldesi is right here to try and collect it sometime soon. Huntronaut is able to place the wool in the chest. So it's just a matter of can Fuldesi retrieve that without getting killed.
it seems like Contronaut's just gonna try and provide some cover fire with the power three bow. Trying to help Old LC get this pass around. Buckled Sauce is up limb shooting from the surface, Doctor shooting from the cave before the entrance, and Tri Delta shooting from the cave. Uh, with the entrance, and he has his cannon lined up, trying to hit the pass around, able to do a little bit of damage to Contronaut, but the pass around still remains. And Contronaut just trying to water the pass around chest, but not really able to do that. Tri Delta does go down though, trying to fire the cannon, so that is free reign for uh, make an obscotch to collect the pass around. Uplum is the only one here to try and stop him. But it seems like he's doing a nice job of trying to do that. Contronaut has successfully watered the chest though. Uh, the cannon is still here loaded, so if if anyone from Jamaican Opscotch notices is, notices, they can still shoot the button and try and blow up his cannon. Uh, Fulessi was trying to get the pass around again. Not able to do that. Gets taken out by Uplum. And Kratane trying to make progress into the wall. He was, made it to the mob drop section, but was taken out by a zombie before he could. Uh, get up. And it seems like in all that chaos, Contronaut was able to place two wolves around. Uh, oh, is he shooting for the button? No, he's not. But Contronaut able to pass the wall around safely, just get it completely out of the wool dungeon. Don't need to worry about the chest. And green wool is fairly safe for to make an obscotch mouth here. Uh, they only have two wolves out and secured though. So they do end up getting killed trying to uh, do the victory on that could really hurt them in the end. Well, Desi is pulling out. He has all three wolves in hand, and the only person on the surface that can do anything is Tri Delta. He's over here getting in a position to shoot. He only has the power bow with nine shots on him, though. We'll see if he's able to take him out and try and get rid of the wolves that are there. Well, I see is placing safeties, though. does have 18 TNT <clears throat> on him, so he might be looking to try and blow up the uh, Victory Monument to try and get rid of the wolves that they do have. His water bucket, uh, he has a small amount of blocks. He's going to have to be really quick at getting rid of the wolves on the monument though. Let's see, placing a black wool box. I think if that's in range to be accepted by Otter F. Yeah, it seems like it is. Plus he's just getting pestered by the silverfish over here. Jumping silverfish just jumping on top of his platform that he's trying to make. And Tri Delta smartly making his cannon right next to the or right in front of the green wool area. Plus he getting killed taken out by the silverfish. So <coughs> Tri Delta does have time to cannon his remains. Uh, not too sure where he tossed the right. tossed the wool. Yeah, tossed it out of the range of his cannon. They should be fairly safe, but getting up there will be a bit of a challenge. Seems like to make an Scotch Mafia just got rid of the bed so that Fulbessi doesn't have to come from the bottom every single time. Placing brown wool on the victory monument. And just has to get green wool. So it's gonna have to really hurry with this cannon. Well, let's see, trying to just pillar up, but Tri Delta takes him out trying to do that. He did place the wool up here, but it's not close enough for it to be recognized by Outer F. Tri Delta is gonna have to fire this cannon right now to try and get rid of the wool. 
Vector Sock, Sock is up here trying to help shoot for the time being. And Contronaut seems like he was trying to make his way out of the wool, but he gets void lane. Oh, it seems like he made it safely and just secured all of his stuff. So they are going to have more green wool at their disposal. Oh! Shut your feet out, motherfucker! <laughs> that way up to the victory monument is going to be really difficult for to make an opscotch. <laughs> Trinelta only has eight pieces of TNT on him, though. I'm not too sure how long he can hold this for. What else? He just trying to make a way up there, and he's able Boom. to place it. So there is the paste HTML. And to make an Opscotch Mafia is going to be moving on to the semifinals. Not too sure if Cam and uh, Chris are still talking about rulings and such. Uh, not too sure what's going to happen now. Well, that's hard to say. What's going on, Cam? Okay, I guess not. Right, so I guess we're doing the interview sort of thingy. What do, what do I do in this? I don't know. Swag. Oh, uh, don't listen to me. Oh. Sh I'd like to thank the academy. My so what's, the, who's, what's going on now? All right. Um, seems like we have Cretane from Chocolate Sauce and nice. Minnie from Jamaican Opscotch Mafia. Okay, let's start with uh, Cretane. Uh, yeah. What went wrong? Oh, just about everything there, but other than that, pretty good game. Uh, yeah, we fight. I, I, like, so I didn't exactly know how to run first, nor what first looked like. So that was an oversight. I Haven't you run played this map before? Uh, something like that. Well, like in the quarterfinals or it, something. It's a funny story if you want to hear it, but if 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 that's clogging up an interview, then I'll go with that too. Let's leave it uh, as it is. Um, yeah. so uh, you didn't see too much a third. Uh, by you, I mean your team. Nah. Which is interesting because uh, from uh, somebody's actions at third, there's this uh, controversy, a very common topic in RFW. Uh, about rules and such um, seemingly doesn't even really affect how the match went but anyways uh, so it, it didn't uh, seem to end up being a lot of action at uh, second first uh, we got second Elton did his job fine the problem was uh, we didn't have first I, I first that's where the action was yeah yeah like as long as Really, if I had run first sooner, and if I had known what I was doing, a.k.a. if I had played Dungan instead of myself, and he had done it for me, we could have run first at the start, I think, without much trouble. And then if we had done that and rushed first, I think we would have had more than enough time to just get Iron Armor and take third. So what were your plans for trying to take third? I'd just go in there and kill them all. You didn't have any idea what you were up against at third? No, I didn't think it mattered. The entrance to the wall box was blocked off by obsidian, not too sure how many layers, and then the ladders were blown up, so the Wait, only way the they... entrance to the wall box was blocked up by obsidian? Not the entrance to the room to the entrance to the wall box. It was before the obsidian was before placed. The signs. Uh, yeah, okay. And then so the only way that then the ladders were blown up with the cannons, so the only way that you can make your way up was with wool or uh glass. Okay, so Get roller glass, break the obsidian, 
I mean, Obsidian is. We can play the game, of, the game of what ifs all day. Uh, yeah. Obsidian yeah. can be broken. I mean, you know, the, the what like, ifs don't matter. It's a matter of time for third, in my opinion, to break a lockdown of one person by themselves in there. And I think that could be done in around eight to ten minutes. But the problem is because we didn't have first fast enough because I didn't run it, uh, we were not able to do that in time. Right, and then there's the matter of how much you know can be done in those eight to ten minutes for the other side. So again, yeah. the what if game doesn't really matter. Um, so let's uh, <clears throat> flip the script now. Uh, Jamaican uh, things seem to go well, but not smoothly. Where, where do you um, think you slipped up? Our start was really, really bad. Pretty much nothing went well at all. Um, uh, Contra North, who was supposed to like get various supplies for me to get inside third, died like once or twice. I died twice getting the TNT. Uh, I think Fold, who was supposed to do our supply run, uh, he died a few times as well. Pretty much Ock was the only one who uh, whose job yeah. went to plan. Were you were you guarding first at all before like five minutes or so? Nope. It yeah, seems like he, a... you guys seem to have uh, ignored first for most of the, I don't know, first ten minutes. It, it didn't seem like first was acknowledged at all for a while. Yeah, our our assumption was that if they were going to rush first, they would have like three people there and they'd overwhelm us anyway. So use other people elsewhere and just mm. hope they didn't sneak with one person through. I... I think it worked because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, but I think one person, if they had known what they were doing, could have gotten past that. Because, like, no pressure whatsoever is different than one person there just to at least hold someone back. What happened to supplies? I, I was not at all there. Uh, Supply-wise, I have no idea. I spent most of my game in the shared lane. I think you guys blew like most both, of our stuff, though. It seems like both teams blew up both teams' supplies. For the most part. Yeah, yeah right. there were shots back and forth. I think both teams lost their iron rooms, and then uh, Making Up Scotch lost their uh, Lapis in the iron. Not the Lapis. Well, all in all, it, it was a good game. Uh, the fact that things don't go to plan, uh, you know, not because the plan wasn't well orchestrated, but because the other team hindered the plan, is usually indicative of uh, two uh, well-matched teams. Um, what was it, a uh, two or three and three to three? Like, it's, it's wasn't third the only one untouched by, or maybe not. Am I mistaken? I don't think I don't think chocolate sauce got into the first old box at all. Okay, all right, but the you were making doctor and. They were all there, right? Okay, so either way, uh, what I said stands. It, it was it was a good game. Uh, you could definitely tell that uh, plans didn't go exactly as they were supposed to for both sides. <clears throat> and uh, on that note, yeah, congratulations to the Hopscotch Kings. Thank you. And uh, better luck next time to the mm -hmm. uh, Chocolate Milk. Chocolate sauce? Yeah, the Hopscotch Kings versus Chocolate Milk. Was that not what today was? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, pretty sure. I thought it was Jamaican Chocolate Milk and... I think Hopscotch we're going to nailed it, actually. But... Anyway. Hopscotch Shout out to Sir sounds gross. Anyways, uh, before, like, uh, decisions made with everything concerning it, it, like, the rule bending and all that, it, it always stems from a map that needs to uh, add rules, you know, like, uh, and I've got a, you know, a foggy memory at best, but if the three that I remember are pertaining to that one, what was it, I think it was a map by Avery or Gramps or whatever, he had that, uh, Mountain Mayhem, Mountain Mayhem, uh, Twisted, the... Twisted Desert had some controversy, um, it's, it seems to me like this kind of thing arises whenever a map needs uh, rule addendums, any, you know, complications. You can't do this except over here. Uh, cross lanes specifically seem really uh, vulnerable to controversy and and rule uh, blurry areas and shit like that. Um, so to map makers out there, if you need to add rules to your uh, map, uh, maybe try and design it to where you don't need to add rules. And if you can't do that, then maybe it's a little bit 
weird, you know. It seems like a, a restructuring of third would, you know, completely, you know, fix all your problems. Yeah. Well, I think you could also just remove block placing entirely in third because it's not necessary outside of um, the maze. It's not necessary in the maze, and it's not necessary in the wall box. And that See, would prevent instead of instead that. of doing that, um, just just restructure it. Don't don't limit people, but you know, just restructure it. Instead of it being made out of obsidian, make it out of bedrock if you want it to be a maze. You know, and there's things you can do. <laughs> just putting it out there, we got everything we did was confirmed by organizers before the match. So. Right. Yeah. It doesn't seem to me like any rules were broken or that people were on different pages. It doesn't seem and and even if let's like completely take any uh, you know, issues or ethics that would arise out of it. It doesn't seem like what happened at third affected how the match went at all. Uh yeah. means you sat there after you collected it the whole match. You didn't do anything after you collected it. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, whether rules were, you know, map-made rules were broken or not doesn't even uh, affect the match, so let that be known. But uh, just my sense, I, I don't give a shit about how this ends up ruling or if it blows over or if people get pissy about it. <clears throat> uh, right. It's just that, that map, me map makers need to take it more upon themselves to, you know, be, you know, careful and, you know, conscientious. conscientious. Is that even a word, conscientious? Yeah, conscientious. Consci it's a hard word to say. Uh, yeah. Be more aware of the rules, and if if your map needs extra rules, then uh, maybe instead of adding rules, uh, you know, do a little reconstructing. Is that everything? Yeah. I got nothing. And then we could continue the discussion of map making, or we can go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there. because, so, yeah, all right, all right. So, uh, I don't even remember what it was that came about it's, with Mountain Mayhem. What was that? It was, I uh, it. it was like the Blame Indigo, Disco, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it was Blame Disco versus PME. Oh, and it's Chris. And Chris in the block. Block. Chris. Uh, oh, Etho blew up a lot of, oh, Etho blew up a lot of yeah. the stuff, and Chris the noob fell into a and one by one. And then Max went hole. in on the arguing. Right, it yeah. It was a one by one by two <laughs> hole, and he tried under pearling out, and he didn't. One, and the only way that he like, could get out was to block Gutch out. When I did like three, um, MK, Mzerus, and Lax just told me their entire like life story of RFW, and there there's a long section on this and like the ethics of that. I still don't know what Mountain Mayhem looks like though. <laughs> All right. See, yeah, like stuff like that, like no no mm -hmm. block place areas, like all that does is create. <laughs> you know nonsense you know like it and, it, and it, it, it violates minecraft you know what i mean like we're like we're essentially like people in legos you know and it's like if you, if you, if you say to somebody oh you can't do uh arguably uh you know minecraft's greatest mechanic here you can't do it i know you want to but you can't do it you know it seems like you're violating the spirit of the game you know like rfw isn't cool because of you know the maps are cool rfw is cool because of what people do with the map you know yeah. And and if you build an area that's like you know you can't do this you can't do that it it seems like you're being an asshole, you know. Well, I don't know if I completely agree with that. I think I think there are some situations where you should tweak the map a bit. For example, on Rainy Day, I think that if there is a staircase going up into the entrance of the top room as opposed to a two by two ladder, I think that would solve a lot of problems. I think it would make it a lot more balanced. But at the same time, having a no place region is what allows you to have a kind of sword PvP lockdown area. Without that, you can always just play Subsidian to the point where there's nothing you can really do. But there definitely is a balance to it, and I think you should strive to keep it as close to vanilla as possible. Yeah, I'm not like if if I knew what you were referring to, I could retort. But I mean. I won't say, like, uh, it was the uh, Modern Warfare had uh, a cross, you know, lane, and it worked yeah. out there, and uh, Whiskey Brigade was very fond of that map. I like that map, um, and I, I couldn't tell you specific, I, could, I haven't seen it in like three years, but uh, specifically what was done there that made it work out a bit better. Maybe the spirit of the game was just different, you know, like, they, yeah, like I'm not saying we're on a moral high ground. But it just it, like it never would have crossed our mind to uh, like shoot cannons into their wool area, you know. 
But had someone else done it, we'd be like, well, yeah, I guess you could do that. You know what I mean? It's it's it's, it's yeah. a mix between people trying to kind of push the the meter and then other people being like pissy when they when they do. You know. I think it's also just like, if for from a map maker's perspective, I, I don't really map make for RFW. I do in some other senses. The problem I think with the map making is you get a map out, it looks beautiful, you've gotten the gameplay features you want down, and then you sit back and you say, okay, this is done, I submit it. And the problem is when people are playing your map, they're going to sit down for, you know, four hours, look at the bedrock, look at how they can use all sorts of weird stuff and how they can break your map. Oh, yeah. So I'm mean, thinking for that. What Whiskey Brigade would do is we'd, we'd look at maps and we'd turn... Uh, all the terrain blocks into glass, you know, dirt, stone, cobble, we turn that all into glass and look at it that way, you know, I mean, we definitely pick things apart, you know. Yeah. It's it's definitely something that happens, and everyone's got their methods for doing it and counting blocks and seeing what exactly is possible, so, you know, you have to anticipate that. But, again, you know, the the less things you have on there that are being restricted, the less, you know, gray areas and, you know, straight lines that, you know, people have to cross mm -hmm. exactly <clears throat> so who wants to play some nail <laughs> I think I'm gonna go watch a movie probably I'm just kidding I don't want to play <laughs> sick of nail yet I've been sick of nail man but I've at the played. same time I am updating it so did you ever see um last map boombox? Mm. -mm. Uh, it's it's on OCTC. It's it's one of the few maps that feels like a mini game map that I've played for a long time, and I just don't really get sick of it. Anyway, that was a pleasure. Good game. Well done. I'm gonna go laugh at uh, Ben for dying at the start of the game. See ya. <laughs> see ya. And I guess thank you to the organizers and whatnot. Yes. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, you yeah. Seeing those uh, Enderman nipples, I was quite tickled by that. I forgot the Enderman looked like that. Um, yeah, good game all around. Uh, all that stuff. Making up Scotch is going to be moving on. They're going to play... The semifinals on Abandoned Kingdom against the winner of Impact and Team Illuminati. Uh, I don't know the schedule for the rest of the week. Be here. But there is a game tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be at 2.30 p.m. EDT. Team Illuminati versus Impact. Mr. Scary Muffin is going to be streaming it on the channel that you're on right now. All right. On that note, I'm going to bring the stream down and uh, probably head back to my channel and uh, masturbate on cam or whatever, you know? I mean, we'll see how it goes. I got chocolate milk. You know what that means. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Peace, baby. Peace, baby. Stream over. Ninja vanish.